Hello, people. Hi to you all. So let's go on. Let's start the presentation. Hello. Why this video? Well, to reply to the most common criticism and remarks I have received about my app, the free notifications reader in the last year. I hope you can find it useful. Just one thing that I want to say before. You must know that I develop app for pure passion. In my free time, I have an all another kind of job, and that's why my apps are totally free and without ads. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My app is good. 98% of reviews are positive, and your five stars are very, very important because motivate me to improve my app. Okay? First criticism. App doesn't work after an update. Well, you must know that uh, I have 1,000, I repeat, 1,000 beta tests all over the world, people that share with me the passion for my app and that dedicate uh, part of their time to make me the occasion to improve my app. They test carefully my app and uh, report me errors and the water problem. So, uh, and the process is very long. You must know that before a new version come out, six month implementation of testing, six months. Okay, so when it come out, it's practically bug free. It's possible to be bug free, but practically bug free. Okay, and if you have problem, just give me two chances more. First, switch on and uh, switch off and switch on last one. In general, this is enough, and if not. They install and restore my app on crash. At this point, for sure, it will work again. Okay? And okay. solve it. Let's go on. The voice is horrible. The voice speed is too high to know. The pitch is unbearable. Okay? Well, you must know that I don't use my voice to make notification. I'm using the text to speech engine that is installed on your phone. So the problem is your phone. Okay, how can you solve this? Very simple, you, are, you can install another text to speech engine if you don't like this one. If you don't know how to do that, please ask for help. Even to me, no problem. Write me. And, or regulate the settings, because you can regulate the setting, for example, the speech rate, the pitch, and so on. Okay? For having an help, consult the section titled Speech Quality and or consult my video 3G. Let's go. I hear both from headphone and speaker on my smartphone. Oh, how can it be possible? It's possible. Well, it means that the Android is sleeping. Your Android is sleeping and did not send the Bluetooth connection even to my hub. This point, how can you solve this problem? Very simple. <laughs> Disconnect or reconnect the Bluetooth device. For having some suggestions, consult the section title Double Audio and consult videos tributary and all bt.x. Okay? And so I hear at a very low volume. Ooh, I have to put my ear on the uh, internal speaker of my phone to hear something. <laughs> How can it be possible? Why? That means that in general there is a Bluetooth device, one of your Bluetooth devices, typically a smartwatch, that you forget it in general to have it, and that is stealing the audio channel. And in this case, of course, the audio, the notification will come out in your internal speaker. Okay? What can I do? Simple. Uh, starting from version 601, I have put, I have added a new, uh, a new options, the BT devices without audio, and you can set the stealing device as the BT, as a BT device without audio to add it in this BT device without audio. And at this point, everything will work again, because in the case that a BT device without audio is connected to Bluetooth, my app will uh, direct the audio, the notification of the audio, the 
mm, excuse me, the audio identification to the external loudspeakers, okay, of the phone. Consult uh, the app section title, very low volume, and consult videos, tributary and videos. Solve it. I must give too many permissions. This is really absurd. Okay? Well, this criticism is totally senseless. Hmm? Okay? First of all, you have just four, five, no more uh, permissions. Okay? My app uh, is uh, probably the most complete and complex reader in the world. There's more than 100 options and over 5,000 individual settings. And it is obvious that is, uh, you know how to do so many things. Yes, he needs to have many, many permissions. He did not so much, just type. Okay, how can you say I must give too many permissions? Or what? Anyway, you must know that uh, your privacy is granted as my app doesn't have the permission to go to internet. Okay, so therefore it cannot steal your information. Okay. Rather to distinguish really dangerous app from uh, from mine, okay? Expert perfectly know that my app is not dangerous for your own privacy, and uh, the other apps uh, that seems uh, totally harmless, the one that have the internet permission, those ones are really dangerous. Remember it. Read uh, the help section title authorization and consult my video. Solve it. My app doesn't work on Android 9. This was said by some people. Well, must know, first of all, that 30% of my users have Android 9 and my app was perfectly. Okay, me too. And, oh, okay. If you refer instead to the fact that it doesn't tell you it's calling you, remember, I, written, I, written, I wrote it everywhere in the help section. The fault lies with Google which has removed a whole series of permissions. Link it to privacy, they say, okay? Without which it is absolutely not possible to read from Android 9 who is calling us. But, okay, solution, just one. I found a workaround that works on some devices, not on all devices. For example, Samsung um, is not working at all because uh, they, are not, they, they are a basic routine for phone calling remains at the previous version. So they are not uh, sell, sell, telling to me who is calling. Anyway, this uh, workaround that explained in the video A1 exists in starting from version 601 and you can test it if you can use it. Okay, so solve it. App stops working as high and it reduces when I leave the screen. Well, that means one thing. It's an obvious thing. You have to remove my app from the battery optimization procedure, the killer procedure. Okay? The solution is this. And uh, it's a, it's a, it could be a hard work on some devices, especially Chinese devices. And uh, I put some apps uh, to help you and consult my app section title standby in those and consult especially my video 1A. Okay, and solve it. Let's go. App can't notify SMS. This is totally false. Okay. You just have to read the instructions. Hmm? I have a section that is totally dedicated to SMS, how to set this, how to make it work, and so on. Um, SMS app can be a lot, so it's not so simple as, as for uh, WhatsApp and Gmail that are only one app and not one specific app. So you have to find and detect it. Consult the app section title notification from SMS and consult video 4 and 10 bit. Okay, let's go on. App can notify WhatsApp message. This is, of course, totally false. You must know that 80% of my user use my app to vocalize WhatsApp messages, so it works. And uh, first, 
check if your WhatsApp has the notifications are enabled in your, uh, your system, your, on your smartphone. Consult the help section type of notification for WhatsApp and consult video 4, 10, 8, and B. Okay? So, let's go. I can notify messages from me, Twitter. Mm. That's false also. The problem is Twitter. Mm because you can check uh, personally that uh, some messages from Twitter arrive in general notification, five notification from Twitter and so on, but not messages. And it's Twitter that doesn't notify messages. My app is a notification reader, not a specific reader from Twitter, okay? And if the generating, the, the app that is generating the notification doesn't produce notification, I can't read that. Okay, let's go. This is another absurd criticism I received. I'll speak in another language. Well, okay, this is really... I, I, can, I can express nothing about that. It's not possible unless you set your smartphone in a different language. Please. So... You just have to set your smartphone in your language, both system and text of speech, and it will work. It's up to you the problem. Okay? Consult Android app and that section type to speak quality and consult video 3G. No more. So let's go. Only speaks. How can I shut it up? Oh. Wow. Read the instructions, read the documentation. There are so many ways to silence my app, either to interrupt or to make uh, it talk in the desired condition and so on. Dozens of different modes. Okay? So, please, in the documentation, you will find dozens of modes to stop localization. Consult the help in YouTube video, you will find dozens of modes to stop them. Okay? Let's go on. Sorry. App can't understand what I say. Well, I said before that I'm using uh, text to speech engine uh, to perform localization. And I say that I'm using Google Assistant to understand what you are saying. Okay? So the fault is on your phone. You haven't trained the Google Assistant in a good way, and probably also the quality and sensitivity of your smartphone is not so good. Okay, so what can you do? Simple. You have to check in the documentation and to calibrate carefully the Google Assistant on your smartphone. Consult Android help and my help section dedicated to vocal commands and so on. Another obscure criticism. Too much hard to be understood. Okay. Never say that it was simple. As I write in the Play Store notes, my app, although it has a simplified interface, was mainly designed for people with a good enjoyed finger and above all eager to learn how to use the enormous wealth of a valuable option. Okay? You just have to check the documentation. There are one ten thousand. 10,000 lines of textual ad that they have translated in seven languages. There are 30 videos in English and 30 videos in Italian. Consult all the Android app, my rich help section, and all available YouTube videos. And you will learn little by little eh, to use my app. There is no problem, no problem at all. You can use it in a simple way, you can use it in a very complex way, but you can use it. Just learn how to use it. Okay, let's go. Another obscure this time behavior. Eh? You ask for help and then you don't write me. How can I help you? Well, in order to help you, I need a description of the problem. I need screenshots. I need explanation. Send me information and then we solve your problem. It's up. Okay, please. Write me. If not, so deep. And the problem will be solved. Okay? The last page, uh, the Inferno Sacco, the shameful page. 
okay? The one that insult me or, or write me shameful jokes with bad, with a bad voting. But first of all, offending is forbidden by the Play Store. But first of all, it should be a moral duty not to offend those who work for the community in their free time, donating you a good app, totally free and without advertising. Think about it. Moreover, with such an action, you are damaging the whole free community. Uh, please. Uh, free and uh, up, totally free and without advertising, I so rare. Preserve them. Bye, people. Bye to you all.